Hello everybody and welcome once again to All of Fabric 3. Today we are going to do a little bit more progression in terms of the quests. But I'm now also going to start doing some uh, computer craft. Because that's one of the things we're going to be able to get some good resources from. So let's get started. So as you can see in front of me I've got some recipes prepared on these um, half slab uh, crafting stations or crafting station slabs and the recipe for those by the way is dead easy it's just a crafting table from vanilla minecraft which you then input into that and self craft that to a crafting station and then doing that one more time will produce these two slabs for the price of one which is quite handy because they do keep the recipes as you as you can see in fact so does the crafting station let's put these two down i'm not sure whether i'm going to need them or not but let's just put them down somewhere like this press shift on those like that we've got two more recipes so the first recipe here is this one and we're going to make a trash can from kibi now kibi does seem to have a lot of the stuff that is um very similar to extra utilities i think and all this all this does is just is just a place to chuck stuff away so let's just put it down somewhere i'm probably not going to use it as it happens we just put stuff in there and it just disappears because i have got a better use of uh, for other stuff let's break that down anymore in fact i'm in fact that's in my backpack so let's just shift it click it into the, my backpack here and get out the the book so let's get started with this so three quests we should have oh to claim rewards okay click here to open good so here in kibi i've got three quests i didn't realize i've done so many of those but let's just start with this one open so i've done the oscar the grouch completed which is gives me a iron lance claim the reward let's go back again what else have i managed to achieve that i didn't expect oh here but i haven't done this one as it happens oh it's a, it's a mistake <laughs> it's the same one right um that's just an area in the book and the last one of course is a sleeping bag what do we get here soot covered redstone and stone torches you know, I don't know what that one is, but it's something to do with mob grinding, I reckon. So let's let's claim that book, um, that reward, and let's have a look at the quest book again. Um, well, I've still got it open. Let's have a look. So that's next one I'm going to make is a magnet. For a magnet, we need to have a uh, is disabled, and we'll get twelve gold and three rubber saplings. Oh, actually, we've already got the rubber saplings. So let's have a look at the recipe for that. Um, Oh yes, there's some XP stuff I wanted to have a look at in here, but let's have a uh, magnet. So we want me one from Kibi, and this is this one, and the recipe for that is an Eye of Ender. So that means we have to get some blaze powder. So that's going to be tricky as it happens, but maybe not. We shall see. So the next recipe on the list here is a, a basic drill from Tech Reborn. So we'll claim we'll just do that one. I'm not. We need to charge it up as well, and I've got to figure out how to charge it up. And the reason I, I think the way to do it is with a battery box. So let's just do a battery box. We've made all these bits before, so I'm not so I'm not bothering to go through the intermediate recipes. And then the last one here is the important one, which is a recycler. And this one is in the quest book. So let's look at this one. Let's go back here. So I've got Tech Reborn. We actually did see this last time with the mini draw. So let's just claim that gives us eight iron, six iron ore. Let's go back. So the one I want to do is the next one on the list here is, this one's too difficult, spin me right around, is this one I think. This is the recycler. Yeah, indeed. So we can then click, we can then make this and then claim the reward for it. So let's do that at the same time. What do we get? 64 scrap. Actually, that's pretty decent reward. What's the next one after this? I've seen another one um, here. Fabrication utility, and that is a matter fabricator. Okay. Um, this is probably going to be a bit on the difficult side. Let's have a quick look at the recipe for that. Matter fabricator is this one by the looks of it. Yeah, this is going to be really on the um, <laughs> really on the tough side. I reckon any of these ones with these sort of energy flow chips uh, are going to be a la 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 crystals, which are made from 
lazurite plates um, and energy crystals and uh, industrial circuits from Tech Reborn are going to be really tricky because this one, you, the only place you can get it from is you can compress it with the three different compressors from the three different mods and this one is then made from dust and we can get these dust from scrap boxes that's why we're doing the recycler I'll have a quick sleep and I'll see you in a second so I actually built this as well an XP drain and uh, an XP tank because I do have died a few times I have to be honest and it was it's starting to annoy me <laughs> so what we'll also make is an XP shower here like this and I'm not sure whether or not we can actually do the tanks so let's just have a look at the recipe for tank it's basically four glass and four obsidian in the corners I'm not sure whether it's obsidian in the corners or the glass but we'll, we'll just try it like this yeah indeed and we get a, a tank from Kibi uh, obsidian is I've got from my Diamond pickaxe. I made a diamond pickaxe. I found another diamond in the chest. So I'm the first thing I did is made a diamond pickaxe and then I enchanted it. I should go and have a look at that as well. Um, so in here, I've got 52. And what I did is, I think I've got in here, yes, I've got a gold pickaxe. Put the gold pickaxe in here and then have a look. So I've got a fortune three, a silk touch, and an unbreaking. And then when you put a new diamond pickaxe into that, you'll get the same enchant. Uh, I think that's the case. I'm not 100% sure about that, I will be honest. So let's go and put down... I need to go and dig up a block here as it happens. And I need some cabling because we've run out of spaces for cables. So let's just get a piece of cable. We should have some of that already made. I want to put down the recycler. Only need one for the time being. And I also have made another thing as well. With the alloys made, I made some bronze. In fact, I didn't need to make any bronze because, um, no, maybe I didn't make any bronze because you got it as a reward from one of the quests. So we need to just put this down like this, and then we can put beside this the recycler. And what I'm going to do with this recycler is we're going to what you do is you put stuff into it, and you will get scrap back again. And one of the things I've got plenty of stuff and not really very much uses for are these seeds. Um, in fact both sets of seeds are pretty useful so let's just take one set for the time being uh, what do I need to do I yes I need a chest as well so I'll just take a chest wrong place let's look up near miscellaneous I've got three oak chests so I'll do fine and what you can do with this is once you put it down of course oh we've got to put it down already you can configure the sides. So what I'm going to do is put a chest on top of it. So I have to press shift, because otherwise it doesn't work. And then into this, I'm going to put these seeds. Like that. And with those seeds, we're going to import those directly into this device. It's already got charged up, as you can see. So what you do is you click the sides here, configuration of sides. So this one here is the output slide. This one is the input side so block. So we can then change this to the top side here. We're going to have this as the input. In fact, we're also going to do the front face as an input as well. And we're going to set those to being auto inputs. And as you can see, as soon as it does that, it's producing these. And then what we're going to do is we're going to let these export out to somewhere else. But that's going to take a while before we get anything out of here. Uh, we'll eventually get some scrap. In fact, we'll probably get a reasonable amount of scrap. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a second chest down in front of it. But before we do that, we're going to put here um, a computer from a turtle from Computercraft. I've actually got this prepared. Uh, this will make a computer like that. And there is another recipe. I think I'll need some gold. And we'll probably do a gold turtle as well to start with. So let's have a look at the uses of this we can make an advanced computer and the recipe for those by the way is also we can do the same recipe for that so I'm going to make two of these like this and I'm also going to make an advanced computer because we're going to use the advanced computer for testing the programs so I need another glass pane uh, and some redstone I'm not sure what this is. I'll have to look what that does at some stage I haven't done much with that in that particular mod as you'll see I've also been busy mining I've got quite a lot of um, coal, redstone and lapis now and actually I also went and did some diamonds as well and didn't cover those so let's have a look at this one 
let's go that that route again so the rest no, the recipe we want the uses of this one and then we want that rest, the recipe for this one and then we can simply click it in like that we then make a computer so the uses of these now we need to make a um so we'll look at the uses for this one i can make a, an advanced turtle which is what we're going to make so i need a chest which i've already got um and that makes an advanced turtle so i'm going to use this advanced turtle and i need some more chests so we'll get just two more chests out of here i think this should be plenty around we'll use these dark oak ones it doesn't matter they are treated like one chest so that's great in fact as you can see i've already got these two prepared so let's put into here let's put a third chest and then we provoke map mapping so let's put these two computers in here like this i've already done it haven't i so that's fine so we again get two turtles and the first thing you do with the turtle is you give it a name so we put it down where we want to put it down so the first one we're going to use is a very simple cobble generator um and it and if you can't get to where you want to man move it around, we'll move it around manually but i would like it to face that direction here so one one we're going to use for crafting so let's just put it down here like that and then the front side should be here we'll see in a second because what we're going to do is we're going to make a cobblestone generator now to do that we're going to a very simple one we're going to simply do one block down here one block for the water here and one block down and then here we're going to put the whether we put the the water so then these two will go in and i've actually got everything prepared for that today amazing let's just um, get open up the backpack i've got the lava and the water like this so we just put the lava into this what single block and we'll put the water in here that flows down as soon as i break this it'll make some cobblestone like that and then this is going to we have to equip this with a diamond pickaxe to make um we didn't actually break that one can't get to it well, one piece of dirt i load things i don't like things floating around like it even doesn't just as bothers me so that's why i do that and then of course we could probably could cover this with something else let's just cover it with a block of dirt um i don't think we have dirt slabs but let's just copper it but block of dirt just in case and somebody falls into it it's just a bit safer the water doesn't matter at all this is still working away and we've got 31 scrap and it's using up these seeds reasonably fast so the next thing we want to do is we would actually like to put down that block here and then put into this the second turtle so i want the turtle to face that direction it doesn't really matter which direction in fact it wants to face into this one and the second turtle is going to be a crafting turtle so we have to actually do that first of all i think we have to do the crafting turtle before we do that one no probably that's not a good place for, <laughs> for that i'm gonna to have to move this in fact i'm not going to use it because we're going to shove everything through this recycler anyway so maybe i could do it on a stick or something like that but the other way just drop stuff down that's probably i guess it was a sign wasn't it last time let's just use one of these signs like this my guess is it's just this plus a sign will make a portable crafting trash can from keeping that's the one that might be handy actually so let's just keep it and then we can shift stuff so if you ever need a rubbish bin you've got a rubbish bin to there so now i would like to i've got the two i've got the two um the two things down what would i like to do with that oh i need to make it another piece of wood block of wood to make a crafting station and i also would like to make another diamond pickaxe because we need to do that and then when i was out I would, because i got the fortune three i actually got 36 diamonds from about um i trying to remember how many pieces of diamonds were probably about 11 maybe less uh, blocks of diamonds good return on that so that's why i was waiting patiently for doing this so now we need to craft this one up and i think that we can just craft this up either inside ourselves so we first of all make a crafting mm -hmm. table and then we should be able to craft these two together yeah and then we get a crafty turtle like that so we want to put this one down like this and i've actually already written some programs for doing this like that so now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to tell it 
we're going to log in and start this particular one and we're going to give it ask it a question the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say this one's um this one's going to make scrap so we shall set the label for this particular thing was it label set i think it's label set set and we're going to call it um i don't know why it says left but i think that's for something else so we're going to call this one scrap like that and then it has this name scrap here and we're also going to say this one we're going to give this one a name as well we're going to call this one cobble so we'll do the label set and the reason that's important is when you move if you ever move this decide to move this particular um turtle it won't lose the program so we'll stay in there so let's just make the pickaxe you need a diamond pickaxe but the interesting thing about the diamond pickaxe and the turtle is they never get damaged which is great so we just put that in the first slot like this and this has to be non-enchanted or at least it used to be have had to be a non-enchanted well so we can say um equip left i think what is it equip is it total equip left i've forgotten exactly equip left okay so we equip all right so we, that's it tells you what it do so we want to do slot one into side left and then it will put then it'll put the pickaxe on the left hand side of this it doesn't seem to make any difference which way around we do that like that so now this thing here is that and I'm going to just load up so two programs into these things and we're back in a second. Well, I'm back, but I might have some trouble. I can just see over here one of these guys. Uh, just in case I get some trouble, I'm going to just get out of my backpack. I think I've got it in here. No, I haven't. Let's get it out of the chest over here. I should have a. I should have one of these. This is a reasonably good sword sharpness to a knockback. So let's just put this onto my offhand. All right, just in case he comes along and tries to attack us. I might have to go and I might have to go and sort them out. Um, actually, that's one of the reasons why I bought. I did get killed by one of the, one of those guys last time. So, so I set this label to, to scrap, and there's a program in here called Packer. This is a pack. There's one I've written. So let's have a look. Like this. It's a very straightforward program, and I'm not. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pack everything to nine by nine that didn't print didn't work by the way so a comment in lua is two dashes so we'll just say this is packs um scrap like this and then we just save the program so you just oops don't need to do that do I? control and save the program like this and what it does is it goes around a set of, i suppose it's let me try and explain this quickly to you. This one here is a, a table, and it's really an associated array. So this basically means one has got the value one, two has got the value two, three has got the value three, four has actually got the value of five. And what we're doing are these slots. So this is slot one, two, three. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, sorry, nine, ten, eleven is the actual slot range. Is up to sixteen is this slot down here. So what it does is it this underscore here um just basically is a we just throw away the value of i uh, the, the loop value and we just care about the value of l for the slot for the slot number and then i'll print the slot number and then we'll select that slot and then we shall suck in from something from that slot so before we do that we have to configure this and then and then at the bottom of this we just do a turtle craft and that's it there's nothing more that, to do that it's just turtle craft so it basically puts scrap into these and then makes a scrap box we shall see that happening in fact it might even be a sensible that i no i have to do that because i then have to get rid of it as well so let's just save this pro let's just save this program we'll get out of it and quit it like that and what we're going to do is we're going to put down a second chest over to the other side of this and it's where it's going to put the stuff then where it's being scrapped like that so we just put this down like this and then we need to inspect let's just open up this again and say 
we have to start Lua as the first thing because that's the language it's it's using, computer language. So we can start, we can say turtle inspect. And what that does is it, it checks the the block in front of it. So it says it's a recycler, which is just exactly what we want. The Techborn recycler here. So then we should be able to exit this and then just run the pack uh exit with a parenthesis, sorry. And then we should be able to run packer like this. So it's pulling out of there. Oh, I didn't even just configure it. Those and then turns it turns around and then it do drops it off into this. So it basically should have dropped it off into this chest here. <laughs> and now where did it put those? It's doing something. With, oh, they're being thrown out here. I probably need to fix that program because it's wrong. But I think the front side is actually incorrect. So let's just stop the program here. You just press Control C to stop it, like that. And then we shall. Let's just turn it round. So you, first thing we need to do is turn it round. So we so we enter Lua again to to, con, to control the program. If I can type. So we shall take type turtle inspect again. Like that. So it says it's a tech and it says it's facing east. So let's just do a turtle turn left. Yep. Tab. Like that. And then it's facing this one. If we do the turtle inspect again, it'll tell us there's no block to inspect. Okay. So let's just do this, turn it around again. And then we'll do a turtle inspect. It should find the chest. So it's an oak chest here. So it should be able to drop that into this chest. Okay. So this is the correct side. So it's the one with the slot on it. Okay. So if we say now turtle drop, it's got this slot selected. It should have put this into this chest. That's exactly right. Okay. And then we just need to turn left again. Twice to turn it back again. Oops, no, I can't don't do a drop. Sorry, turn left. And it should be facing this side again. So then it should be able to carry on. How much? How much have we got in here? Three. So it's got nothing in here at the moment. So let's just run the program again. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. Sorry, I need to exit out of here, and then run the packet again. So, if, so now it just waits, and this is the slot number. So it's going to put it in like that until it's finished so while that's doing that let's get the next bit running over here this is the cobblestone generator and there's a program called cobble uh, generate generator dot lua oh, i must have mistyped that so right let's just do that again control having a bit of finger difficulty exit i just must have mistyped that edit generator tab and then it should show me the stuff now this is program is not my program it's actually one on the wiki and i've included the the url for that page in this thing here so what it does is it goes around basically keeps mine digging away should be here right okay so if there's a block in front of it it digs so it's looking for the cobblestone so and then it when it's finished uh, that it just does nothing until it's until it's got something in here and then it's checking the item count in the bottom right hand slot and if it's 64 then the, the turtle is completely full so it turns round and we don't need it to turn around anymore so what we should do is get rid of these two lines here and the comment is this that disables them if we use a, a color one and we'll actually do the same thing here as well and so this dropping down, we're going to do a drop up um, in front of it. So we'll just do turtle drop up. Like this, and then it'll drop it upwards. So there's going to be a chest on top of it, like that. So let's save this program. And then we can uh, run it. So let's get it running. And you can, 
So we have to exit in this particular one. And with the advanced, you don't need to exit. So we'll just do control and exit. And then we'll just run the generator program like that. And as you can see, it's already working. So that will have in it to four items, as you can see. So what we're going to do now is just simply put a chest on top of that. If I've got one, oh, yes, I've got one with me. So let's just come around here and put the chest. Actually, I would like the chest to face the, front, the right direction. There's no reason for it at all. It doesn't make any difference. So we just put the chest like that. So what's going to happen is that when this gets full, it's going to chuck everything in here and then they're going to get sucked into here. Uh, maybe I don't need to do that. Maybe I can just do it after a stack. But for the time being, we're doing it like that. And as you can see, now we've got, how much have we got in here? One packed item. Let's put into this. Um, no, let's put in. Oh, we can't put it into here, unfortunately. Um, recycler. So we just have to. Um, oh, how am I going to do that? I should be able to do it by just put doing it in here directly. If I take these scraps like this, I don't think it's going to work until it gets one in here. Uh, now I'll have to do it. I'll have to let it do it itself. We'll just craft that ourselves manually. So just get a crafting table out here and we'll just scrap these up. In fact, let's look for the recipe for this and then shift click that into the lineup. So we have 12. Now, why have I done all the gun to all this work to get these? Let's have a look. Um, let's just take my inventory and sort it out. So we've got not very much in here. In fact, what I'm going to do is put everything in my inventory up here. If I've got enough space, if not, I'll just have to make some. Right, good. So now there is one big protect. There is one thing you do get from scrap. Let's actually look at that first of all. Let's look for the uses of a scrap box. Um, all right, we can make a scrap uh, initiator. Now, the scrap box initiator. What this does is it simply um, automatically allows you to open the scrap box. Uh, the scrap box, and then the things you get from the scrap box are sort of sometimes interesting and sometimes mundane. So we get these things in here, which are some aluminium dust, for example. We're not, we can't make that at the moment. Anthracite dust, we probably can. And there's are 48 pages of these, so there's a lot of things you can get from here. So let's just keep one of those back. Um, let's just put it into my into here. Just want to put one in. I can't. I haven't got space right. I'll just put one away somewhere. Um, let's just put one in here. And what I want to do with that is do nothing. I want to make a scrap box initiator. So let's op let's open these and see what we get. So we've got some string. Okay, nothing exciting. We got some small zinc dust. Now that's actually quite a good one because it's hard to get. You have to use processes. Pumpkin, uh, a fence, another fence, <laughs> a zinc ingot. That's also tricky. It's not a bad one. Basalt dust, that's probably not very exciting. A sapphire. Actually, sapphires are interesting. A glowstone, that's actually good. Because that was one we have to go to the nether for. Prof Prof Prospector's head. I <laughs> don't think there's any uses for that one. And the last one here was a aluminium dust. So what we can also get out of these is some blaze powder. And these guys are here again. Let's get rid of them. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. They are so uh, just so annoying. They're always here. They never go away. <laughs> and he's still around too. If we can find him, he won't be very far away. He moves. He moves out of the way once you've decided to kill his. I know. Maybe there's two of them. Oh no, there's not. Right. Sorry, it's slight distraction. So now, I've got these this here I want to get some XP because this is how I was going to do it now I have made this XP where did I put it oh that was that was prepared for the uh, that was prepared for the crafty turtle I forgot about that so it doesn't matter I'll just put that up here and get it out of the way uh, see so, oh yes I want to take leave that one for the time being uh, and I'll sort that stuff out later on so what I wanted to do is to let's have a look I think it's probably in my backpack Yes, there's a, one of these here, one of these here. So we've got a tank. And what you do, let's put the tank, say, here. And 
and they do join up these tanks and let's put on the end of this tank the xp shard i think i just have to shift click it and then it's connected into this tank so we should be able to take a bucket of um xp out of it let's have a look i assume of course it's in my backpack i've got to remember that so we just take a bucket out of it like that and then we should be able to put this into here like this uh if i get it right oh bucket of liquid xp and then that drops out here like that and i get start to get levels of xp for in next enchantment i want to get rid of that stuff i just stand on the on this an xp drain and the recipe for the xp drain by the way was also fairly straightforward uh it's almost identical to the shower except it's got one more iron ingot here so we just stand on this and it'll take us down to almost zero not quite zero now i also noticed i'm hungry so carbohydrates and protein are good. In fact, let's just do the baked potato because that's good for both carbohydrates and vegetables. Like that, and I and I've start. I've got all my three things back again, being nourished. So just before we go, let's just take this in here and then put that into that. What will happen is it then should start to put the stuff up into here, as you can see, and. It's throwing stuff around. I'm not sure what's going on there. Let's have a look. This is actually working incorrectly. It's not picking up. It must be picking it up from this particular side. Okay. So maybe I have to reconfigure this. And so let's just say this is the output side here. So we right click. Click the configuration. Oh, sorry. I did that again. Click the configuration here. And let's make this on the right hand side here as an output side. So it's orange. And then that should then go into he into here. I see there's all sorts of things being thrown around. Let me just sort that out. <laughs> so there, all the stuff is coming in here and it's not working correctly. And it's still trying to put the stuff into here. It's also not good. Why? I'll tell you what, I'll be back in a second when, when I fi figured it out. Well, I figured out the problem. I also put some uh, slabs here because things were getting set on fire from the lava. Um, I need to put an intermediate chest in here. And the reason I need to do that is this um, turtle is pulling from any of the um, recycler sides. So if I now stick this into here like that, that's going to start to work. Um, and then it's simply going to push the stuff into this chest. And this program will then, when we start it up again, let's just start it up, Packer will then pull from that chest instead of pulling from anywhere else. Now that's also an advantage because what that means is it's going to um let's put that let's put these three pieces into this into this chest here. We can also do this as well, that's what it also means. You'll see it's now turned around and it's put it into this chest. So I can simply leave this running as soon as that's finished, as soon as this starts as this gets full, like like this. And as you can see, it's slowly getting filled up. I was, I messed around with this program to double check what it was digging up. I was waiting to see if it's cobble or not. Didn't need to do that as it turns out. And I also did some more. And I got these, some ruby dust, some sapphiral dust. I'm not sure what that's used for. Small pile of sapphiral dust uh, and a titanium nugget. Um, so we get some small pile of almond in dust and that's another one these are quite hard to get if you look for the recipe of that one um not sorry that was the usage the recipe is from here and that's made from the industrial centrifuge so we take red garnet dust and then that will give us these three uh, and the industrial centrifuge is actually one of those harder machines to make. We need aluminium plates. So to get that, well, we'll have to figure it out. We also need an advanced machine frame. So we need advanced alloy plates, carbon plates. So if we can get those without having to do that, that's great. So that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Anyway, if you want to know more about the programming of turtles, and I did quite a lot in my all of mods 4 series um i can do an episode just about that anyway until next time i wish you all the best bye for now